One of the most important days in the life of a business owner comes when the business has begun to grow and you face the challenge of hiring your first employee. Now, whether it's a stranger or even someone from your own family, getting it right will determine success or failure. It's a bit like choosing a mate. Hi, I'm Nelson Davis with another helpful business lesson. It's a great relief to feel that your enterprise has a chance of living up to your dream. But a nervous time when you realize that it's time to invest in getting some help to keep growing. As you know, in a small business, every employee or associate is critical. This is a big and broad subject that can't be totally covered in the few minutes that we have, but let me share some critical thoughts with you. Just like in the fairy tales, you may have to kiss a lot of frogs before you find the prince or the princess. In this digital era, you can be quickly overwhelmed with resumes from a ton of websites who match job seekers with your opportunity. So begin by being very clear and specific about what you need the newly hired person to do. That means writing out a detailed job description that includes everything. And I do mean everything. If they're expected to work in shipping and client relations and help out at the front desk from time to time, put that in the description. Looking at the big stream of resumes that show up can be the least important and most frustrating part of the process. My experience has been that after reading the 25th one that sounds just like the first one, I often had two thoughts. One is that they had all been to the same class on how to write a resume. And the other thought is that not enough young people write very well. So to get past all that and find a great candidate, here's how I approach the process. I think that a good interview process takes place in at least two rounds. The first interview is always on the phone. Now you can do that on Skype video or FaceTime if you prefer. You simply want to get a sense of how the job seeker communicates and whether you'll like the person. My criteria is that if I don't want to sit next to them on a two-hour plane ride, then I certainly don't want to spend eight hours working with them. If they pass that test, then move on to the in-person sit-down at your place of business. Allow up to an hour of time for this critical part of the interview process. A good candidate will have researched you and your business online, and you can prepare by checking them out on social media. Be sure to work from your notes during the interview to make sure that you get all the answers that you want. Be clear about the company culture. Tell them about your goals and how you want to achieve them. I tell prospective employees that mistakes are not a tragedy, but what they do after a mistake is critical. That means they have to be good problem solvers. My first business landlord years ago advised me to learn to love my problems because they were the only thing that I was guaranteed to have every day. If you're liking the job candidate, give them an assignment now to research, think through, and write up their suggested solution for a problem. That will tell you just about everything you'll need to know about them and help you make the right decision. After that, I set up the third and last interview. I make that one a conversation, not a traditional interview. You want to know what they read and how they get their information. Talk about their family and how they like to spend their non-work time. Find out what they're passionate about in their lives. Tell the candidate what success looks like in the job they're interviewing for. Introduce them to the other employees that you might already have. You want to see as many aspects of the person as possible. I must say that in hiring people, everybody gets a clunker from time to time. And when you do, don't delude yourself about them or waste either person's time. If things are not working well, Quickly, let them move on to an opportunity other than being on your payroll. But if you followed the process well, and with a bit of luck, you'll have someone who will help you grow the business, perhaps even large enough to be one day big enough to have an HR department to do these things. The key ideas are knowing what you really need, nail that job description, know what to offer, and develop effective employee orientation techniques. You want the candidate to impress you, and you also want to impress them. Use timeliness, 
clarity, and courtesy to do that. I'm Nelson Davis, and I want to help you succeed magnificently in business and in life. 